Cool. So how would you describe your music in sort of three words? Um, impacting, faith-based, positive. Um, it's just all about how Jesus changed me from the inside out and how I want to see every single person that listens to my music changed as well, if they're not already. And I just want to inspire people to be the best they can be mm -hmm. and work hard and have faith and just do whatever God put them on this earth yeah. to do. Well, when you started, uh, your first album was called The Narrow Road in 2008. Yeah. How did you start? Because obviously you're an independent artist, Christian artist. Yeah. Um, it's a massive task ahead of you to try and release a record. How did you mm. start and how did things come together for you? I just had to work the hardest that I've ever worked in my life. Like a lot of people ask me, oh, how did you get to where you are? Or I'm a rapper, I want to do the similar thing. Um, but like when people see you like on, hear you on radio or see you on TV, I don't think they understand the work that goes into kind of trying to be the best you can be for God and put stuff out to an excellent standard. Like, there was literally times recording an album where I sacrificed meals, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To pay for studio time. Um, I was up till early hours in the morning writing material. And that's the kind of hard work that has to go into it. Um, and I was just dedicated and that's how it was birthed. And I think God kind of saw that hard work and he just did the rest. So I think it's just a mixture of working hard and just the grace of God saying, yeah, I see his work, I'm going to favour him and do all these great things for him, so, yeah. That's interesting that you say that because I think sometimes as Christians we think, oh, God will do it, I'll just kind of sit and wait for him. What uh, would you say to someone who thinks that? Um, I heard a pastor preach at one time, I'm not advising anyone to go and play the lottery, but it was quite a good analogy. He was like, um, if you want to win the lottery, you have to buy a ticket, um, if you don't buy a ticket, you can't win. So a lot of people will be like, God, do this for me but they haven't done their bit. Um, I kind of related to when I was doing exams because I hate, do you know what I mean, mm. working hard for examinations because I'm more of a coursework person, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so when the exams used to come, I didn't revise and I was like, God, you know what? You know my schedule, I'm busy, just make me get an A in that paper. And the results will come back and they wouldn't be an A. Because how can God give me an A if I don't even pick up my books and revise or if I don't pick up a pen and write good answers in the exam? Mm. So I think God is like, he's a graceful God. He'll favour you and he'll give you grace, but you have to put in some work yourself. So you hear that everyone at home, you've got to put in the hard work, otherwise you won't yeah. see any results. Faith without works is dead, simple. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I was raised with the fear of the Lord, mother and father raised me up from young. I still thank them for paving the paths that my footsteps followed. This prepared my mind for the fight of tomorrow. But I wasn't always an obedient child. Suspended from secondary school, I was wild. Many offenses stacked on educational files, but I fixed up. When a call came forward, it said you got a talent to birth for an audience. I'll only permit in the what in accordance. It was the Lord talking from then. I have never looked back, just forward. I love this mic and the feelings. Awesome, I love this life. I'm in the zone to release the thoughts that my mind supports. I'm in deep support. Got a story to tell, and I've got a story as well. Your land has got a story to tell, and you've got a story as well. I 
and I'm fixed up. When the call came forward, it said you got a talent to birth for an audience. I'd only permit if his will's in accordance. It was the Lord talking from then. I have never looked back, just forward. The love this mic and the feelings. Awesome, I love this microphone. I'm in the zone to release the force that my mind condones. I'm in deep support of a saxophone. I was dirt from ground. And now I'm on stage with your land of ground. The emotions are too hard to explain. But I've lived the humble, now I'm part of black. 